How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and I'm using my new camera today in here. I don't know if this will be my permanent setup, but it has a little bit of a wider lens. I'm actually zoomed in a bit because it's too wide, but I like this camera a lot and I figured I would try it out. Today we are going to be taking a look at some cars that have some rather questionable mods. They're not all clapped out. I chose some cars in particular that just have that one mod that is just freaking stupid as hell i'm all for people modifying their cars just use your brain when you're doing it because some of the things that these guys did just actually harm their cars or them you'll see in a second let's go ahead and dive right in but first our merch is still up for sale we have a sale use discount code race guys go pick up some racing merch some flock racing merch none of those other you know budget racing brands this is flock racing this is a1 okay you can do the 60 rolls the 40 rolls whatever you want wear it at car meets let people know you're down and run it use discount code race let's dive right in first car 2013 honda civic ex sedan four door somehow sold for 8500 dollars. we finally sold my girl's car and it sold for nine grand so this is only 500 dollars cheaper I'm curious if we sold her car for too cheap or if this is something super special. Let's take a look. So this has to be the worst listing of all time because it's not only a shitty car, but the shittiest photos in the existence of Facebook Marketplace. Like, how the hell are you going to take a photo of two thirds of the car? Like, you can't even frame it up correctly. Here we go. All right. We could finally see the whole Honda Civic there. And this thing just looks musty from the fucking wheels to the fender flares to just the amount of dirt on it. If you're selling your car, give it a wash before you take the photos. Don't let everyone know you're a piece of shit. Oh my God. 126,000 miles. It's not too bad, I guess. But carbon fiber door handle inserts, like the level of tackiness on how that looks is it's disgusting. His trunk, I don't know what this blue slab is here, but he's just, he's got camo carpet. He's got a speaker, a baseball bat, a soccer. This guy is quite the athlete. He has one thing from every sport out there and also has the modelos. He sure knows how to party afterwards. Fake taxi. I don't think you're getting anything with this car. Oh my God. If, <laughs> if you have duct tape on your car, don't have the audacity to list it up for $8,500. I'm wondering if he actually got near that. There's no way. Like the duct tape, the random Bondo right there, it looks so crusty. Oh, super deep dish wheels probably wouldn't be that bad if it was on a different car. But this poor, poor Honda Civic has just been put through the ringer. Oh my God. Dude, quit with the duct tape. How are you going to have your car held together with duct tape and put it has no problems at all in the description? No problems at all. Oh, except for the duct tape and the curbed fucking wheels. Is he missing lug nuts? No, no, he just has like some pointy ones, some not pointy ones. He couldn't afford pointy ones for all four wheels. The interior just looks musty. It looks like it would smell like a two-star hotel. Oh, is that more duct tape? No, it's like a seat cover. That's not even on, right? You could see when he climbs in, he just rubs his whole body on it and it just rolled over to the edge. Blue metallic floor mats. This car is just crusty. It's on airlift, so I guess there's something there. You probably got some holes in your lines. But yeah, this poor, poor car sold to some chump. Oh my God, this thing needs a little bit of everything. The worst things though, the worst defenders of this car would probably be the duct tape and these crusty looking carbon fiber door handle things. This whole car is just a pile of trash, but someone out there is enjoying it right now, hopefully. Next car, 2012 Toyota 86 GT manual. Now, <laughs> right off the bat, I actually want to zoom in a bit. Can I zoom in? It won't let me. That's fucking tragic. Can I not look at the photos any bigger? This is horrible. What fucking website is this? Oh, I could. Okay, there we go. So, <laughs> I don't know what's up with you GT86 owners, but this isn't making your car any more aggressive. In fact, this is only dampening the performance behind it. Look how much he restricted the airflow to getting to the damn radiator. You went and cut it pretty much into a quarter of what was originally there. This is, oh, this is horrible. The wheels don't look half bad. They're like, they're probably CCW reps, but they don't look half bad. Honestly, if he just hadn't put such a third grade level mod on the front end, it wouldn't be that bad of a looking GT86. But instead, he got fucking stung by the ricer bee and now has probably the most childish GT86 I've ever seen. He made a slow car potentially even slower. The rear end isn't even that bad. Like the window louvers are a little tacky, but the ducktail I like. Uh, this is just, 
oh my god, how can someone have such a good starting point and then just end up somewhere completely else? And he's asking $25,000 plus for this car. Oh my god, for a 2012 GT86? Those shark teeth ain't worth that much. They ain't Megalodon teeth. They're not real. Another car that was ruined by one simple mod. Those goddamn shark teeth. All right, we're off of that fucking shitty website. 2007 Mazda Mazda 3 Mazda Speed 3 Sport Hatchback 4-Door. You think it's a Mazda? This car was ruined by a few mods, not just one. Right off the bat, I can see three very horrific acts of torture upon this Mazda. You have the wing placed on top of sort of a wing, and that just looks horrible. Then you got the mud flaps. Then you got the fucking two uh, pocket pussy exhausts on the back and the tow hook. Is it a real Mazda Speed 3? I'm going to be very... Oh, what is that? What is this tumor growing on the front end? An oil cooler sticking out with a fan blowing in it. I think the sticking out part was plenty. Even though it's very dangerous, I wouldn't recommend, you know, having oil plumb to the front of the car where it can be hit by everything that your car is supposed to be protected by, by the bumper. I don't think using an oil cooler as a bumper is a great idea. But then putting a fan on it, I think it's just a little overkill. Like, I guess if you're sitting in traffic, but I, I don't I don't think it's really necessary to have a fan on your oil cooler. I think it's a little bit overkill. No club. Is that what it says? No club? Didn't have a club penguin growing up. Tragic. Tire lettering, nasty ass wheels. Why is there a Z logo on them? Oh, it has different sets of wheels front and back. This has to be the most clapped out Mazda I've ever seen. Oh, it's from uh, Berlin, CT, Connecticut. That's, isn't that like a Puerto Rican flag? He has harnesses. Holy shit, it's a track car. Oh, and they're set to the floor, so you fuck up your spine whenever you crash. Fuck the passenger, he doesn't get them. And the LEDs! This guy does not fail to impress me. After every picture, it just gets better and better. He went from looking like Class A Bozo to God Tier Ricer on the last one. I didn't know it had LEDs when I clicked on this car. Wow, he just did everything a Ricer would do. Including the box of export sodas. That doesn't look like soda, those look like crackers. Listen, if you have a car, and you're only doing stuff that a child can do, you're not a mechanic. You're not a car enthusiast and you're not a tuner. If you're spray painting your interior, you're not a tuner. If you're spray painting your engine cover, not a tuner. If you're spray painting other covers like your fuse box cover and your battery box cover, not a tuner. If you're uh, spray painting your little eBay wing, not a tuner. If you're fucking putting your oil cooler on the outside of your car, definitely not a tuner. That is a fucking rookie mistake right there. Don't do that. Just leave your car alone. This car probably doesn't even get hot enough to ever need it. It's snowing in the photos, it looks like. Or it's just some really ashy ass asphalt. Uh, poor vehicle. Car, good car, run and drive, one rim's broken. So it has two different rims in the rear to even out the tire height. Needs space in my garage. I want to see his other cars. Whatever. Just don't do what this guy did, please. Next car, 2007 Ford Mustang, $5,500. Normally, I wouldn't put a car this basic in. Like, this is just classic middle life crisis. Old man, new balances, jean shorts, fucking some shirt that says, like, you know, Mustang on it or something like that. Or Ford Power. Classic. But the fact that he put a grill that has fire on it to block out his radiator, I just thought was so ironic. Like, you have this grill that is literal fire to block air from cooling off your car so your car will literally light on fire. And then he has flames on the front end, too. I just thought it was too ironic to not include. And they also have to be some of the worst flames I've ever seen. Like, they're the most half-assed flames ever. Like, they're white. Like, I know fire can be white, but... They're just white. It's just white flames. There's barely any orange. There's barely any red. It doesn't look like flames. It looks like somebody gave this car a facial and then put some flame stickers over it. It doesn't look that good. He also has a fake hood scoop, which if he actually plumbed correctly, which he's not gonna, but if he actually plumbed correctly, it might help the whole overheating issue with his aftermarket grill. And then he has red wheels to top it off. The wheels ain't that bad. I could honestly see them, you know, on, a, on the correct build Mustang ain't that bad. The cheap plastic louvers I don't like. But um, old man is tired of overheating in traffic, so I don't blame him. It also is an automatic, but I mean, we kind of expected that when we saw the flames on the front end. He's only asking 5,500. The worst thing on this car is that flame grill. Uh, you could live with everything else. I could live with the fake hood scoop. I can't live with that flame grill. Selling my V6 Mustang. I got a new upgrade, so it's looking to sell soon. Has lots of upgrades. I'd put them all down in the description. The paint job was done a, a year ago. That thing looks like 20 years old. Had them paint flames on the front end. 
in the front you can see i put a fire racing stripe fire racing stripes in the front of the car and put the what if you're interested come check it out he has lamborghini louvers they're just called window louvers you fucking dumbass tinted headlights so i really can't see at night because that's fucking smart mmd hood scoop that is not the mmd hood scoop that is a fucking autozone hood scoop you fucking liar you see that that's the mmd hood scoop the one that my girl had on her car that's the mmd one that is the autozone special you fucking idiot also listed seat covers as a mod nice mod bro sick tuner build love it Ugh. next car 1999 honda civic for 1600 sounds like a steal honda civics never really fall in value there's always someone looking for a civic or an accord never really a bad idea to pick one up Unless it looks like this. Looks like somebody literally stepped on a Hot Wheel and broke the axles of the Hot Wheel so the wheels are sticking out. This is not how you do camber. This is not how you do wide body. This is not how you build a car. Missing the front bumper, missing the grill, damn near missing the headlights, damn near missing the hood. It's got some really cheap fender flares that don't even fit. They've been trimmed. It's got wheels that obviously don't fit. Like the rear, if, if I just cut it's straight down the middle and look at the rear only i could potentially see somebody doing like a crazy camber honda civic build and kind of you know let it fly this front end though is the most disgusting looking front end i've possibly ever seen like the amount of embarrassment you have to have even just owning this thing not even posting it or driving it just owning this thing and having your name on that title has to be one of the most embarrassing things i can possibly think of in the car scene like that is the most disgusting honda civic i've ever seen at least ek civic like there is not a single redeeming quality about this car as a whole i can't possibly think of one i can't the the trunk disgusting the wing if it was fucking all one color maybe would work maybe but it's not the hood disgusting the headlights with the stupid painted eyebrows on fucking disgusting i don't like this car i really don't he only has two photos of it and that's all i would ever ask to see of it because it is fucking trash he says it runs good highly doubt that no number bill of sale car came from auction it's a stock d series has headers five speed NRG bucket seats you wasted money on this thing uh camber kit coilovers <coughs> don't buy this last car 2008 Dodge Avengers so it's a, for four thousand dollars does this guy live in a landfill like you could have probably found a better spot to take your photos than in the fucking trash pile I mean I guess the car does belong oh no what'd you do the dragon on the side is one thing but tinting your headlights and putting claw marks on it oh i would hate to be in front of you in traffic those nasty green headlights would look disgusting wheels whatever weather guards i don't think they're for this car because they don't seem to fit all that well i don't know that's probably actually how they are because the door has to open that kind of makes sense um the the dual claw marks though on the headlights just I don't understand how grown men can put stickers on their car to make it more aggressive. I just, I cannot fathom that. I can't. Like, I, stickers can kind of translate to tattoos on a body, and that can work. That can make you look tough and look cool and, like, actually, like, enhance your appearance. Putting a dragon sticker going down your whole side of your 2008 Dodge Avenger? You're not doing much there to get more ladies, champ. You're really not. And then to have the nasty matching interior someone pissed and shit themselves on this one i don't doubt that they did the same on the other one like there's a fucking stain right there how do you get a stain there unless you piss and shit yourself yeah there's stains on this one too this dude's ripping ass and coming all over it save that for the back seat oh vacuum your car please like ugh. oh what is this fucking fire hazard over here there's a bundle of wires you really hope you don't have four passengers in there at all times because i don't know where he's gonna put his fucking feet he get tangled up in the snake nest oh my god i could smell this car from here it just reeks of ass just sweaty cheeks just pure sweaty cheeks that just haven't seen a shower head or spread in a shower in decades that's just what i could just picture it oh my god the front end no oh oh god what where is this arkansas i'm never going to arkansas never not got not happening not fucking happening 
Uh, there might be cool stuff in Arkansas. Never heard of it. Never going there. Never. If this Dodge stays in Arkansas, you'll never see me there. Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this video. Hopefully, the camera looks a little better. Let me know down below if this camera does work a little bit better indoors. The other one kind of had like weird bars, it seemed like. Like a little like, I don't know. It looked weird, but hopefully, this one looks a lot better. If you guys did enjoy this or you have any posts like this that you see, send them to my Gmail, drewpeacock.clips at gmail.com. Hit subscribe and the notification bell so you can flock to the videos with everyone else. And until next video, peace. Has this thing been vibrating this whole time? I don't think so. All right. <gasps>